Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how I created my um, template and actually show you how to use the So Easy tool. So I have a piece of white 12x12 cardstock and this is just the, the stuff that comes in your um, scrapbook albums um, that you put your scrapbook pages in. I just took the white out of there. And this is the tool. And I believe it came with this um, full stitching one, but I'm just going to use the loop de loop. And you can see there's a hole on the end, and you just put it in sideways, like so, and then turn it half a turn, and then it's locked into place. So I'm just going to line it up on here, and then you're going to do it at like a 45 degree angle, and you're just going to push to the end of your page like that and then you can see where your loops are and then you can change it out put in like the flowers turn it a half a turn put it at a 45 degree angle and go and here's another one that I have which is like a stitch one and just run it across. And the vine one, same thing. It's going to keep going across the page at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And then um, on the loop to loop, the one that I did on the Easter layout, I actually didn't do it in a straight line. I gave it like a curve. So I just went and then turned it a little bit and turned it again and just kind of squiggly marked it across my page to give it a different look. So you could have it like this or you could have it straight. And I don't usually, <clears throat> using this tool, I don't know if I'd want to go straight maybe because if my line, like this one turned out really good because I'm afraid that I'm not always going to be straight <clears throat> and it might be crooked. So when I did it in my first video, I just did it with a wave. That way, if it wasn't straight, it would still work out okay. And then you can see right here, let me get my needle out. You can see right here that it didn't go all the way through my page. Like it didn't pierce it right here very well. So then what you do is you just take your needle that comes with your tool and you just poke in your holes. Or you could use a paper piercer, whichever you want. If your holes don't go all the way through, you just go ahead and poke it with your needle. That way you have nice open holes to get your thread through. Um, you know, so you could do it in, you know, however you want it. Let's go back to the, or let's try this stitch one. And we'll do lines. So I'm going to do this one, and I'm just going to do some curves. You know, so you have now that look. And then if you can see, you can see where I pushed down to get my holes in there. You know how it's creasing the paper. And I don't like that look, you know, because that just doesn't, I don't know, I think it makes it look kind of sloppy. So, for example, for this one, what I would do is I would just lay it out on my 12 by 12 scrapbook sheet. And then I would just poke the holes in with my paper piercer or the needle. And that way you don't get that smushed paper look. But this is just an example of how you use the actual tool. It's made by We Are Memory Keepers. You get this. This is how it comes. And then the, this pink case is actually from the, the set. Um... So you would get this and then this needle with it. And then when you buy the heads, you just get the heads. And I went ahead and I bought the, the um, storage for it. <clears throat> I lost my handle. Plastic, so. And then you would put your tool right here. Like that. And then you can put in all your different heads to your tool, the different designs that you have. The 
it would go in just like that. And like here, like I kept all the the sheets that came with the heads because it shows you an example and then it shows you where you need to stitch. Like this one is a back stitch because you have one and then you go back to two, three, and then back to four, five, back to six. Um, this one, I don't know, I've never tried the daisy one yet. Um, but it has like loops in it. I don't know if, how well you're going to be able to see this, but like for example this one right here, it has little loops at the end of the little flowers and then you can put like a centerpiece brad in there. You know, and that shows you how to do the stitching and the loops. Um, so I think that would be really cute. But I haven't tried that yet so I'm not really sure how that one will work. And like the vines, same thing, you know, you're doing a loop, a loop stitch. so. And that, I guess that's a French knot. So you'd have your loop stitch to do your loops for your um, flowers. And then you would do a French knot, which I'm assuming is what was on the very end of each one of the flowers. So there's just a quick little um, video on how to use the actual Sew so Easy product. And then um, if you wanted, you could have a kit. And like I said, I, I got all that embroidery floss probably about a year ago and I paid for the pack I paid like $14.95 or something like that at Joann's and then I just bought a storage bin to put it all in and to have it be organized but and then your mat just goes in the top like so and then you just shut it and then all your stuff is in your kit so then you don't have to worry about losing any of the pieces to it. So that is a very quick tutorial on how to use the Sew so Easy. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.